we have a few people who are coming for the first time to the meditation and there are millions of different types of meditations provided by different of millions of different other i would say people conducting and we think that a guru is teaching to a student meditation but it's an illusion we are all together in one dance a cosmic energy dance in which there is no hierarchy of up and down past and present there is only now at the deepest level with in which the meditation session is conducted the same energy that is flowing through me and causing these words to come up in my mouth is the same energy which your consciousness is absorbing at a level of personality so meditation is a prayer repeated in synchronicity with your breathing which is your biological activity call it kriya yoga your biological activity leading you towards god which is communion with god which is yoga is kriya so think of the breathing that we are doing while meditate in meditation as kriya yoga now the divine knowledge that the energy flowing through me and the energy flowing through you and through the whole group and through everyone who is in the group not in the group seen unseen present not present at its core level is the same like the sun is the source of all the rays no matter where the ray goes what it bounces off it's all from the sun so at the level of the sun we are engaging in a communication at the same level of harmony that at a root level we are like three in which we don't see the roots but at a level of roots we are the same so the energy flowing through me and causing me to say something is the same energy which is absorbing whatever is being said by me is being by heard by you and changing your personality at a personal level wherever you are that is communication and that is our group meditation while doing the meditation we are doing kriya yoga because you, we do different acts throughout the day but the acts that we offer as an offering to god to the divine to the root to the creator to the creator of creators that is what shiva is at that level of connectivity all our breathing that we are offering is kriya yoga and the knowledge that we are all one not different we are different in the physical world my body is different your body is different at a physical world my body is absolutely different your body is physically different at a level of astral energy your energy is different my energy is different but the, at the level of the soul the godhead the divine shiva conditional name for the godhead the creator of the creator of all the creations at that level of deepness we are one it is like i am we are all part of the heart cells there are other people who are part of the liver cells there are other people but we are all one body and that body is shiva we can call it jesus we can call it allah for conditional purposes in order to be able to focus we are calling it shiva and shiva is the god 
whose images totally naked covered in the ashes with snakes and wild hair and sitting on top of everest which is the most uncomfortable place all the other gods in the hindu mythology in the greek mythology have tons of gold on them are living in very warm comfortable in palaces no one has got snakes around them but shiva is one god primary god who has got a snake and who is also not only covered in ashes but surrounded by <laughs> demons and ghosts well not really demons but by ghosts and he is all blue unnaturally blue because his blueness means that he sacrificed his body for humanity he drank the poison halahal when the demons and the gods drudged up from the ocean neither gods could do it themselves neither the demons could do it so they worked together to drudge up from the ocean deepest part of the ocean hidden wealth which was they were looking for nectar of immortality but with the nectar just like as the with the sun there is a shadow with the nectar came up halahal also and it was so powerful that even one drop would have destroyed the universe so shiva took it down and even he couldn't take it down fully so he stopped it at its throat becoming from that point all blue and especially his neck is all blue so his blue color is the color of sacrifice for him. the snake was thrown at him in contempt that you what sort of a god are you you are naked covered in ashes surrounded by ghosts living in the most uncomfortable places in the top part of the everest where it's cold and sitting just without any throne or anything on a loin skin and he used it he did not say no to the insert but he wrapped it around his neck so his insert became his ornament and it the snake now reflects the energy which flows across and up and down the spine and we are going to be uncovering that today and as it moves up and down the snake energy in the spine each point that it touches with each point that the snake energy touches will become activated that is the nature of the fire of the energy that it activates each and every center 99% of the people on the planet right now if and you can also practice it just now if i say om namo shiva and say even in your imagination even just in your imagination because in the in the science of meditation your imagination becomes your tool of enlightenment because your imagination is a part of your consciousness if you imagine that your heart is laughing and you are enjoying life you are enjoying life if you imagine that your heart is crying and is not enjoying life and is full of fear of covid and this and that then that's your reality so your imagination is the tool that creates your virtual reality so imagination is the primary tool of meditation after intention intention is the first tool which says i want to be one with the divine imagination is your tool your prayer magical words om namo shivaya or our father in heaven or allah akbar whichever chant you want or like is your cell phone being used to communicate directly and i am a catalyst but i am connected with you not only by via the internet but by us being on the same level of cognizance of consciousness and striving towards the same so we are all connected as one so there is no hierarchy you are the guru for me and i am the teacher for someone and it goes on everyone is 
only you can be a teacher to someone who wants to understand your life and each life is a reflection of the divine on the planet each life no matter what it looks like we judge it this is good or this is bad but all lives are equally divine so taking out the judgment calls this knowledge that is flowing out from me without your judgment it becomes what is known as gyan yoga that you and me at a level of consciousness supreme consciousness are one at a level of body we are different at a level of energy we are different but beyond the body and energy is the soul energy at le which level we are one we are like different passengers in the same autobus and the autobus happens to be alive and the autobus is god is creation we are all in the same creation and the creation is the body of the lord think of it like that and all parts whether you understand them or not understand them are different but each one has got a divine purpose hitler has his own purpose and all the jews who went through the through the concentration camp fire they had a different purpose and they had a different agenda and who knows hitler served the jewish community in being the catalyst for so much amount of pain because having gone through that pain the community has come out so much successfully so and in the long run everything is a success so this knowledge is called gyan yoga yoga is communion with god kriya yoga is your breathing gyan yoga is the knowledge that you and me and everyone seen and unseen is one is the divine knowledge that makes you divine uncover the divinity inside you this divine knowledge is again a direct way to communicate with god so your breathing kriya yoga your acts biological acts given over to god the knowledge that you are getting that you are divine not what you hear not your ears not your senses not anything to do with the body but the fact that you have the ability to hear the fact that i have the ability to see that is pure divine godliness that cannot be understood what i can say is can be understood these are words but the fact that i can say and the fact that you can listen it's a huge magical thing which no one can understand or can explain science can explain how the words are forming how they are going across the internet to you how your so the how can be explained at a surface level of the symptoms but how is it that i can speak and you can listen and you can understand is pure magic we just do not focus on it so this knowledge is divine knowledge this is yoga knowledge so the yoga of knowledge kriya yoga breathing and giving your life's biological activities to god is gyan yoga the knowledge that removes the illusion that you are you and who you are in reality is god bringing you closer to god your personality closer to god and this coming closer to god is like coming close to fire the more closer you come to the fire the more warmer you are automatically which is an attribute of god so the attribute of god that is getting activated in you is the divine golden light in your heart so i want you to focus on to your into the deepest part of your heart and just with oh have a nuclear explosion of clarity breathe in oh and let it go to your heart namo let the heart explode shivai breathe out all your judgments from the past all your thoughts that had made you think that you are separate from other separate from god remove that sense of a separation from yourself and the fact that you have a life that is god 
the fact that you have a life, the fact that you can listen, hear, operate on this planet, that is true godliness. So you have proof of the fact that there is God because you are alive on the planet. And you can touch and see and feel and think. All these are attributes of God that are getting activated in you in a divine manner. Om Namo Shiva. When the heart is open with the prayer, then life can be seen as magic. When the heart is open, then the basic attribute of heart is pure love. Love for what? For yourself, but not for your body, because that is misguided love. Not for other bodies, also. that also can be misguided. But love to service, bring joy to others, just as Shiva did self-sacrificing. Without any gold, without any, he's covered in ashes because the ashes of the material world. To go to Shiva, you have to let go of the material. Shiva is the mystic source. So you let go of everything and open your third eye, which is not in the center of the forehead, which is in the center of your heart. Because through the heart, you start to see everything with love. So Om, breathing in Om. Namo, opening your third eye of the heart. So that heart's eye, you see everything with love. There is no enemy. There is no success. There is no failure. You see everything with love and gratitude. That is the true third eye of the heart. Namo, open your third eye. This is your bhakti yoga of love. Getting closer to God by opening your heart and seeing everything and everyone. Because everything and everyone is created by the same creator. So seeing everything and everyone through the eye of the heart is bhakti yoga. Seeing God in everything and everyone via your heart. Namo, Om, breathe in Om. Namo, open your third eye of the heart. Namo. Shiva, blazing light should emerge from your heart in your imagination. This is your Raj Yoga. Your blazing light serving others so Kriya Yoga is your breathing of biological activities. Yan Yoga is the divine knowledge that you are divine and your purpose is to serve others. Not to live for your body. That is your Gyan Yoga. Your Bhakti Yoga is seeing everything with total love and devotion. That is your Bhakti Yoga, the Yoga of devotion. Getting closer to God via love and devotion is your heart opening up. Serving with your blazing heart others is Raj Yoga. So Om, breathe in Om, let your heart explode. Namo Shiva. And as you spread love in all four directions, your body your biological body, which is your universe. When you close your eyes, the first universe in which you can travel is your own body. So the universe that to some extent you control and that you call your body, your field, let it be full of golden light. Om, breathing. Namo, spread from your heart each and every part of your physical bad body like a balloon it is a balloon full of blood and organs fill it from with golden light namo shiva breathing out you let go of all your anger and judgments at all feminine energy on the planet and you see offer your gratitude to all the mothers on the planet. This will balance your first energy center in the base of the spine. Om Namo Shiva. Now breathing in, as all your acts, thinking, intentions, knowledge, 
everything brings you closer to god you are full of gratitude for all the feminine energy and you have no anger at any female energy now your first energy center your fundamental your connectivity due to the earth mother mother earth is fully activated and the lowest part of your energy your first connection because we came through the mother to this planet is reactivated there is only gratitude to all the feminine energies of the planet now your first energy center is balanced your personality is changing you will have no more anger at any feminine energy and now the lower energy moves up now see om in the center in the base of the spine and let it move up oh oh 90% of the people without this cannot raise it beyond the stomach and beyond very few can re- even raise energy to the level of the third energy which is the point of self esteem because people have low self esteem but we are going to be doing the magic so om from the base of the spine raise the energy to the second to the sexual energy center so the sexual energy which is always being lost in our society in being directed towards the others directed instead of horizontal make it go vertical up up to towards enlightenment om breathe in om and let it come up and as it hits the sexual energy just from your heart with om namah shivaya offer love to all the partners sexual and non sexual seen and unseen from this life from past life from future lives offer from your heart blazing gratitude breathe in oh namo offer gratitude golden light from your heart to all the partners and that will balance out your second energy center of sexual energy and you can now take the energy to the third level which is the manipur chakra the first one is muladhar fundamental the second one is swadeshta of sexual energy the third one is self esteem one and it is manipur chakra and it is right in your stomach where the navel energy is and let the sun be activated in your stomach the sun in your stomach is of your self esteem and to balance it out we offer from your heart om namo offer your prayers your knowledge your breathing all to the father creator the sun in this case symbolized with the, and the sun is inside you and your self esteem is balanced out om namo shivaya the stomachs where you were holding to on to all that has happened in the past and not has happened in the past is now blazing and your kidneys are free of all fears the liver is free of all anger the spine is free of all stress and now offer om namo shivaya to your father to your mother to all your parents so that you have no more anger at any male energy or female energy that's what parents are so that your self esteem that you are going to be carrying through forward the tradition of the golden heart and now you can take your energy to a level of heart om starting from the base of the spine take it om namo o first first chakra ma second third na mo om namo take it to the level of the heart so that in the heart there is an explosion of clarity om namo and the heart chakra is opening up and in your heart see yourself as the blue light blue golden light of shiva sitting in so that in your heart there is a temple of joy of service to others see yourself as the true you as golden light with a blue who you blue and golden light in your heart see yourself as shiva shiva is no different from you your body is different your personality is different but at a soul level we are all the same shiva power so see yourself as shiva blessing everything and everyone om namo from your heart spread love light and laughter to all four directions shiva to all the people who have hurt you in any way 
Om Namo Shiva. Oh, and the whole group is working with the people who are coming for the first time. Om Namo Shiva. Sending love, light and laughter to whatever happened three years and ten months ago to Nicole's life. Om Namo Shiva. And six years and four months ago, there is a disconnect with a loved one. Sending love, light and laughter to these two events in Nicole's life. Om Namo Shiva. Noreen had a breakup two months, two years ago, and then one and a half month ago. A change in relation style. So when we send love to anyone that we have any judgment and anger at, that resolves our relationship in our mind and opens our chakras. Om Namo Shiva. And Sid had a huge letdown eight years and five months ago, eight years and four months ago. And then three and a half years ago, there is an investment. So whatever happened during these two years, you, we send to them love and then you are free. Om Namo Shiva. And when had a change in breakup, which means a change in location also, around two years and two and a half years ago. And then one year ago, there is a, there is a sadness. Sending love to whatever has happened in the past empowers us and we heal ourselves. So from the heart, when we send love, light and laughter, to all these events in the past. And Julia had changes in the workspace, which I've made her very stressed and disconnected from the spirituality. Sending love, light and laughter from the heart to whatever changes there were, empowers the true you, the Shiva you inside. And as you become Shiva in the heart, now you can raise your energy, open your with an open heart, you are ready to serve the humanity and now your connectivity, your throat chakra of communication is balanced out. Om Namo Shi. Om Namo Shi, the first syllable. And your throat energy it can be raised now. And Va is the third eye, the eye that lets you use your intuition to see that you are the divine you. That you are not just a person with a name and face. You are the power working through the name and face to serve others. So Shiva in your forehead, in the center of the forehead, where the third eye is. Om Namo Shiva. Om Namo Shiva. So the lower energy starting from the base of the spine is moving up to Om Namo Shiva. And now, when I say Ya, yeah, the ya part, the seventh chakra, is activated by the grace of the Lord, by the grace of the higher you, by the grace of the universe. So when our heart is open and we are willing to serve others, automatically the ya opens like a crown, opening your consciousness, opening your thinking, changing your personality, so that now you are ready to serve everything and everyone unconditionally. Om Namo, take it up with breathing in. Om Namo, take it up. Shiva, opening up in your consciousness. Again, like a palm tree. Om, like a palm tree, take the energy of the snake energy. Let it go up. Om Namo, Shiva. Let it open like an umbrella at a seventh so that your personality changes and you are in complete service. You are not looking for the happiness of the mind and this. You go beyond success and failure. You see everything is based on your intent to serve. And no matter what happens in the material world, it may be look like success, it may look like failure. Your intent has got to be that I want to make others happy. Om Namo Shiva. And that is what true success is. And you can see yourself as being successful in spreading love, light, and laughter. It does not mean success in money, in power, in having more sex, in having more things, in having more reputation or less reputation. You go beyond success and failure. And your intent is to make others as joyous as possible because that is the true joy. Om Namo Shiva. Breathing and raise this lower energy, which is the Kundalini energy, it is called. 
you because your heart the third eye is open and spreading love everywhere so you have no judgments at anything and any your whole body is healed every organ is golden and light and laughing your kidneys are laughing and golden your liver is laughing and golden your heart is laughing and golden your spine is laughing and golden each and every brain cell where you had kept some photographic memory of the past is now laughing and golden and your consciousness is like a crown like an umbrella like a nuclear explosion spreading everywhere opening your personality to be serving others unconditionally om namo shivaya expand your consciousness like an ocean of infinity shiva you can also if you want leave your body from the crown of the head om namo as i say shiva leave your body and go above your body and see your body om namo shiva go above the body om namo shiva go above this room wherever you are om namo shiva go above the city wherever you are om namo shiva go above the planet earth om namo shiva see your life from at a level of the planet om namo see all the lives at a level of om namo shiva go beyond the milky way now om namo shiva go beyond the dimension om namo shiva go beyond time om namo shiva be one with the creator om namo shivaya 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 as you are closer to the creator you become like the creator no judgments no likes no dislikes and most important no desires your only thought and intent is to help others om namo shivaya feel the om namo shivaya during the silence that is going to be happening right now. bless yourself see yourself from this moment laughing and serving others without any regard of success and failure at a level of body and your energy just the intent with om namo shivaya or with allah akbar or with wahe guru or with our father in heaven to serve others will take you beyond success and failures om namo shivaya Om Namo Shiva. And as we work at it, we'll pray for each one. Om Namo Shiva, Katharin. Om Namo Shiva. While we pray for the person that is named, the person prays for the people who and the incidents that have hurt. 
that person so that you are totally balanced out and all your chakras are balanced out when the heart is open and you are serving others om namo shivaya katri om namo shivachi om namo shiva om namo shivaya fazad lost someone three and a half years ago so whatever you lost relationship or whatever is a sense of loss at three and a half years you we are sending love to you you are sending love to whatever happened three years and four months ago five months ago om namo shivaya or allah akbar allah akbar allah akbar gale om namo shivaya to you and to your family om namo shivaya hal om namo shivaya hedar om namo shivaya ina and we are also praying for ina's health om namo shiva om namo shiva om namo shiva om namo shiva lora om namo shiva lora om namo shiva irina om namo shiva ji om namo shiva julia and your work stress and all your mood swings because of uh, your mother om namo shiva om namo shiva mother and work kate om namo shiva om namo shiva larisa and nine times with larissa because she has she is working with her physical issues om namo shivaya 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 louis and whatever hurt you got 6 days ago even om namo shivaya om namo shivaya om namo shivaya marina om namo shivaya so mila finds peace in the new place om namo shiva om namo shiva om namo shiva so the whole group is sending her blessings om namo shiva nikol om namo shiva nori om namo shiva nikol om namo shiva nori om namo shiva nikol om namo shiva nori om namo shiva priti om namo shiva rita om namo shiva sanam om namo shiva siddhat om namo shiva sweta and your health issues are starting up so om namo shivaya om namo shivaya om namo shiva om namo shiva tammy and your son om namo shivaya om namo shiva vera om namo shiva om namo shiva and zarina's health has been up and down om namo shiva zarina om namo shiva om namo shiva om namo shiva om breathe in everyone breathes in as one om from the heart sending love to everything namo shiva by sending love to everyone our chakras balance and now starting at the root at the base of the spine o ma na mo so going up with each syllable going across one energy center o ma na mo shiva and then opening like a umbrella shiva only when the heart is open then this exercise can work om namo shiva om namo shiva sir om namo shiva now taking your energy lower energy to a level of seven chakra of higher consciousness and opening up to be one with god om namo shiva sir om namo shiva sir om namo shiva vera om namo shiva tan om namo shiva shiva sita om namo shiva san Om Namah Shivaya. 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 Om Namah Shivaya Larissa Om Namah Shivaya Kat Om Namah Shivaya Julia Om Namah Shivaya Jean Om Namah Shivaya Devira Om Namah Shivaya Lora Om Namah Shivaya Ina Om Namah Shivaya Hedar Om Namah Shivaya Hal Om Namah Shivaya Galya Om Namah Shivaya Ji Om Namah Shivaya Kati Om Breathing in Om Raising your energy slowly to the level of heart Om Namo to the level of third eye namo shivai opening your consciousness of your head to infinity om namo shiva om namo shiva om namo shiva om namo shiva
Om Namosh. Om Namosh Shiva means I see God, divinity in myself. I see divinity in everything and everyone. I see divinity in everything that has happened, that has not happened, that will happen, that will never happen. Divinity in everything. Om Namosh Shiva. Om Namosh Shiva. Om Namosh Shiva. Good. Thank you. If you have any questions, you can ask. Okay. So, Hal, if you want, you can share the Deepak Chopra, whatever you understand from the book. You can share it. <laughs>